Hey, it's Katie and welcome to my corner of the world. So today is part two of You Decide Aid the Box. Um, last week on Mask Monday, I kind of updated you on and boxes that are coming, boxes that are going, and then I asked you to decide what box I should get. Uh, and I told you a whole bunch of different categories that you could choose from. Um, and I'm so excited. So many people participated in that. Uh, and I am going to do a giveaway as part of that. Uh, and it is going to be this mystery box from Forever Shine. And so if you want to see what's in the giveaway uh, and what boxes you're going to be voting on for this week, uh, come join me. Hi, thank you for spending part of your day with me. My name is Katie and on my channel I do all kinds of unboxing, subscription boxes, mystery boxes, boxes from Etsy, limited edition boxes, and I also do a bunch of hauls of lifestyle, oh, clothing, food, oh, beauty, you name it. If you shop for it, I have probably hauled it. If that sounds good to you, please consider hitting that subscribe button down there. It is completely free and it would mean the world to me. Also, turn on the bell notification right next to that subscribe button. And that will let you know when I have new content going up. It will also let you know when I have giveaways going on. And, and there are a bunch going on right now. So check down in the description for all the active giveaways. Okay, so let's get into this. This is going to the winner from last week. What I did was put everybody's name who gave me a, an idea for a box for content and anything like that. You know, if you just came and said, hi, I didn't put you in and I appreciate the comments. I really do. Oh, but it, I was looking for uh, the ideas. So this is a mystery box from Forever Shine. Forever Shine is a, a small business. Um, um, Julia, who is the owner, or uh, had started out doing a subscription box, kind of got away from it and was doing more theme boxes. I'm gonna pop a card right up here for my movie night box. Uh, that came from Forever Shine. And, and I got an advent calendar uh, through her. Well, she's back to doing subscription boxes after having her third child, folks. Third. All right, all right. And then, and they're all like, like under six. I mean, it's crazy. I don't know how she does it, but she is super one. And, and she also has mystery boxes, but she is coming out with a, a, um, it's called like forever you or something like that. I'm probably wrong. And I'm, I am so sorry. I will put the correct title down in the description too of, of what she is coming out with as far as a subscription box. She also has one called bookies, which is kind of like a book of the month type Thing, and then she has some theme things around that book. So I will put the link for Forever Shine in the description so you can find out all about, about all of her boxes coming up. She has already sold out her April box. So oh, look for our codes and things to get on the list for the May one. And in the meantime, you can still get theme boxes from her, her and you can still get mystery boxes from her. All right, so oh, let's get into it. This is, is the larger size mystery box, which is, I believe, $30, but there are promo codes for $10 off. Uh, so again, everything will be down in the description. And now, oh, I did open this as I was going I guess this is now my dedicated video on this is, um, and I kept 99% of what I got in here, in here. I added a couple of more things to it, mostly that I got from other Forever Shine boxes. So you will really get an idea of kind of the stuff she puts in her boxes. Not only is she a small business, but she works with a lot of other small businesses through Etsy to get at all of the products that go in the box. So this is really a box curated around small, all independent brands, small businesses. Is So let me show you the type of thing that you will get. So one of the ones that she worked with is Lloyd's of La Luna. And this is some um, key lime 
pie a and natural soap oh how pretty is that it smells amazing Dang. another one that she has worked with is called natural pure honest and these are grapefruit mango wax melts again amazing if you go hella pretty eat some luxury bath salts it was a little bracelet that did not come with a um, company that put together the bracelet. Uh, this is just how it came in the box. Uh, there was a green tea mask in there. Uh, uh, um, she did a, one of her theme boxes was called like Boss Life or Boss Lady or something like that. And there is a necklace that just says Boss. Sorry for the shake there. Uh, from her company, a um, previously was called Fairy Hideout, and she still makes a lot of products under that. Uh, there is a blueberry cobbler room spray. Okay, and then and from um, the movie box is the Yoda. Do or do not, there is no try, body frosting. And this smells amazing. There was not a safety seal on it, but it smells so good. And so all of that is in this box, and the winner will get this box. So they will get a really good idea of what that would come in the forever shine boxes um the forever shine are going to be like a lifestyle they're 25 dollars a month so really good price point and on that i am going to now roll a clip where i discuss the results and give you options of boxes to vote on this week there will be another winner next week so what you need to do this week watch the clip uh, it's going to be kind of a voiceover er, that shows you the results and the boxes that i've picked to go into the uh, top two categories that you can choose from um and then and you will vote down in the comments just like last week and and we will eventually pick a box and I will be on this is going to go up on Tuesday March 2nd so oh I'm going to end this on Tuesday March 9th Andrew's birthday so please shout out Andrew below oh he is my son he is turning 12 oh and and he is getting a, a box or two oh, that will be coming in specifically for him my personal mini assistant here er, is over there checking everything and told me it was Dana Tweedy that mm -hmm. said she's voting for kids because Andrew needs his own box. Yeah. Well, Dana, Andrew is getting his own box. He's going to be getting one of the KiwiCo boxes. Um, I think it's the Eureka crate, which is like science and engineering, which is right up his alley. Mm -hmm. hey, so, oh, he thanks you and I thank you for that very sweet hey, sentiment on your part. All right. Okay. Let's get going, and then after that's done, I will I'll choose the winner. So as you can see here, her candles took the number one spot with 15 votes, followed by Lifestyle with 14 eco-friendly boxes or kids' boxes. Both came in with six votes, and then that was followed by Jewelry, Food, and then Clothes, Indie Makeup, and Seniors each got a shout out. out. So we are gonna go with the top two Oh, candle boxes and lifestyle boxes is for this round and and we will choose which box I will be bringing to the channel so the first set of boxes that we're gonna look at are candle boxes and I've chosen four to look from um, we have a Yankee candle which now has a subscription box that I had never even heard about called fragrance flight Wood Fire, Brooklyn Candle, and Vela Box. So let's take a closer look at each one. So the Yankee Candle Fragrance Flight it is a quarterly box. So oh, oh, every 13 weeks or once a season, you would get this box. It includes three seven ounce candles, which is what they call like their small jar. Or, and it is $30 and free shipping. So about $10 for each candle. 
people and you do do a profile so that they kind of get an idea of what scents you might like. The next one is by a company called Woodfire. Now they're a smaller business is, and they're also quarterly and they send a variety of scented products that includes candles. It is $50 a quarter and free shipping. Thing, but you don't get any type of selection of scents with this. Now, Brooklyn Candle is a monthly one. You get one eight ounce candle and then you also get a little pack of matches. It is $25 a month and free shipping. Again, and you don't get to pick any type of scent. They just send you oh, a scent. The uh, picture here is showing their or larger subscription that also sends like a smaller candle, but I would be getting the one with just the one eight ounce one. And what I now Vela Box is one that I seen I have seen open on a lot of different channels. This one you can get either one four ounce candle for ten dollars a month plus three dollars shipping, one eight ounce candle, all and a mystery gift each month for twenty dollars and three dollars shipping, or you can get both for thirty dollars and and the shipping. Now I would probably go with just the one eight ounce candle with the gift and and the for essentially $23 a month. Um, again, no choice on in any type of scent here. There's no scent pri profile or anything that you fill out. So that is it for the candle ones. Let me know below which one you like the best. Now for lifestyle boxes, there's the Journey Box and the Passionista Project, which are both quarterly boxes. And then there's Therabox and, and Kiwi Eco oh, that are monthly. Now the Kiwi Eco is kind of pushing the boundaries of lifestyle, but I thought I would throw it in there as since and people seem to like the idea of the environmental friendliness too. Um, there is actually a fifth one that I could put in here called Goldie Box that is done by another YouTuber or, and is also a quarterly one. So the Journey Box uh, is a box that's curated with at least six items um, and it usually is about taking you to a journey somewhere. Their winter one was the Grand Canyon. Their spring one is supposed to be their zero waste one and now just about everything though is sustainably and ethically made and the items fall into the categories of home, apparel, accessories, bath, and culinary. It is $54.99 quarterly with free shipping, but they say that the value of the box is at least $200 and you can personalize some of the items. Um, now, the one caveat here is that the Journey Box has been having a lot of issues right now with shipping. Thing. So they are really behind on getting out their spring box. In fact, they've actually stopped shipping to Canada it is now only available in the United States. It's so oh, keep that in mind when you're thinking about what box you'd like to see. The Passionista Project Pack is also a quarterly box it is also 54 or 99 and a quarter and you also get six or more items and these are all from women-owned businesses it's filled with products uh, that are female artisans like jewelry stationery a, a they have access you have access to online content and and the facebook group this is a fairly new box, so oh, I have seen it opened a few times. The box, actually, the one you're seeing on the screen right now. Oh, uh, so oh, it's kind of a, a a new one, kind of an unknown. But uh, let me know if this is the one you want to see more of. Okay, a fair box is a monthly lifestyle box. It has six to eight items. It is thirty four ninety nine plus as another $5.99 in shipping. So we're talking about $41 a month. So this one is definitely on the pricier side for a monthly box. Uh, it was founded by a therapist based on her passion towards the amazing mechanics of the brain and your ability to change it. It is a one of a kind self-care subscription box delivering fresh new items each month 
for uh, your happiness and self-care. I wanted to throw in here the Kiwi Eco Box. This one is five to six items a month. It is $25 with free shipping and everything in it is eco-friendly. It's for people who are starting to try and live a zero waste life. They've, um, they do have out, out what their March box will include. It's going to be like all about laundry and cleaning. So it'll have dryer balls, balls um, sponges, this, um, a dish brush, compostable trash bags. So this one is a little more on the cleaning side. A, the a February box though had like a nice a coconut bowl, a spoon. So you definitely do get some more lifestyle things, things, but it is all around the zero waste. And then I just wanted to throw in a couple of other boxes that I kind of found um, while I was going through that I thought were really interesting. And, and that's um, Celebrate States, a, a Brain Break box, a popcorn box, and then and I wanted to let you know a little bit about the Goldie box. The Goldie box, again, is by a, a YouTuber. Uh, the spring box will be just her second box. It has multiple levels. You can be a bronze bear, a silver bear, a gold bear, or you can actually get a mystery bear box. Um, and it is a lifestyle box. There is some curation that you can do at the bronze, silver, and gold levels. So, oh, let me know if you are interested in the Goldie Bear box. And I'll go over the other ones right now. Okay, the first one I wanted, I saw was the Celebrate States box. So this would be somewhat similar to Universal Yums in that it does contain a lot of snack foods, but this has a little bit more than just snacks. And instead of being international, you're learning about a new state each month. And, and it is six to seven items from that state, mainly small businesses in that state. A, now again, this is a expensive one monthly. It is $45 plus another $8 in shipping. So $53 a month. So if I did this one, I think I would only do a month or two, or maybe a, I would actually only get it quarterly. A, um, because of that price level, it kind of um, puts it out of reach for me and I would think for a lot of people as a monthly box. This is another one that I is new to the scene. I just saw uh, opened the other day on um, Alicia's reviews and it's called the Brain Break Box. Now they do have a monthly option, which is smaller or you don't get as much in it. I kind of like the bi-monthly option, although it is $50, but it is free shipping and you get six to eight items all around um, the idea of kind of taking a break from screen time. You get some brain teasers, coloring books, puzzles, um, some type of like manipulative of um, relaxation and more. So let me know if you are interested in seeing more of this one. And then the last one that I had was this cute one that I found on Crate Joy that is called Kernel Crate. It, you get three three ounce bags eggs of popcorn each month it is monthly you get assorted flavors so you're gonna get three different flavors of popcorn and they have all kinds of crazy flavors they even have ones like dill pickle oh but they have some more traditional ones too this is fifteen dollars a month with free shipping and and if we i got had this the price would actually go down slightly a monthly if I went for a longer subscription. Okay, so those are all of the boxes that I kind of came up with, mainly in those two categories of candles and lifestyle. Uh, so now I want you to decide. Let me know below. Oh what you want to see here. There are, are under candles, you can vote for Yankee Candle, Woodfire, Brooklyn Candle, or Vela Box, or you can vote in Lifestyle for the Journey Box, the Passionista Project Pack, Therabox, or Kiwi Eco. 
and I'm throwing in that last minute one of Goldie Box. Uh, there's also those other couple of ones that you could had, had put down, the Celebrate States, the Brain Break, and the Kernel Crate. Eight. Well, there, um, you can vote for more than one. That is perfectly acceptable, depending on the price of the box and whether it's monthly or quarterly. I may end up picking two, so you never know. Okay, so you saw that there's still a bunch of boxes to choose from. Let me know, what do you want to see? This week, let's find out who is winning in the mystery box from Forever Shine. So, oh, I am going to pick the winner from part one and of the You Decide My New Box. Thank you so much to everyone who responded it, it was a huge turnout. I am so excited about this. I put everybody's name into a random name picker because I didn't really put a word because I, I was going to originally do this with just the people who said and like the top uh, vote getter, but I wanted to give everybody an equal chance on this one. And so I put everybody's name in that had commented had any type of box or halls, halls or, you know, uh, doing empties and trash. Anybody who gave me ideas for my channel uh, went in to this random name picker. So I am going to ask my lovely assistant here to spin the wheel. It's Emily, by the way, in case you were unclear which lovely assistant it was today. It is Meme Cat! Uh, so I just need to double check that she is publicly subscribed. I will be right back to show you that one. Okay, so here we are. There I am. So one last thing I did want to show you on here is that Meme Cat said she would like to see lifestyle, indie makeup, and hauls. Congratulations, Meme Cat! And by the way, I love of your name, aim, and the profile pic that you have because we love cats around here. We have two crazy ones ourselves. Uh, so please get in touch with me either through oh, Instagram or through my email. Both of those are listed below. Okay, folks, this is getting really, really long. That is it. That is all I have for you today. Until I see you next time, have a great day. Bye.